All right. We're on. We're on. Hey, this is Mike at Mylite Distilling. Ten years ago, I basically done this video, and I thought, oh, geez, ten years, it's probably time to redo this video. So, here we go. Uh, one of our new stills, it's called the Outback, which I, I designed this still because it, it totally breaks down and fits inside this can. So now it's easier to ship to like Europe or any place out of the country because the money we save on shipping, we actually can pay for all the extra parts. So this totally breaks down and fits inside the can, and that way you get a nicer still if we're shipping out of the country. It's just it's a great all-around still because it breaks down, easy to clean, that kind of stuff. Okay, this is my favorite, the foreign one. This still you can use as a central oil distiller, a reflux still, a pot still, and also a filter unit. And if you look on the website, you'll see a video of me, you know, explaining the whole process. You know, I, I set up all the different configurations. It's a cool still. Okay, this way. I'm going to try to keep this under like uh, 10, 15 minutes, so I'm trying to rush it. This is our Mighty Mini. The Mighty Mini is great if you live in an apartment. If you just don't want a big still, this thing's great. It's uh, pot still, reflux still. Um, and a new thing we added this year, we added a two inch tri-clamp fitting on here. So our new heat sources basically go right in there and your uh, flange and clamp, just clamp that thing right in there. And this thing's so easy to use. This, this heating element just plugs into this box or you can actually plug this into the wall too. But be, uh, and you just plug this into the wall, any standard 110. This thing's been a great seller. We've sold over 300 of these in the last year. People are loving these things. Simple, plug and play, up and down, keeps a nice constant temperature to still. They're fantastic. Okay, our biggest seller. This is our dual purpose eight gallon. And again, all these cans have these fittings, right? And this little controller will actually push the three gallon, the eight gallon, and the 13 gallon. All right, so it's pretty cool. Um, all our cans too have half inch MPTs in the center of the can. So if you want to add a thermometer like that one over there, you can, that's just a feature. Uh, you get, you get, you order your sill, it'll come with a camping, uh, <laughs> a clamping cap and the plug, all right? Okay, let's keep on going. This is our torpedo. This is our three inch, this is a reflux end pot, so you can see it breaks in half right here. And uh, <clears throat> this is a great still. This thing will produce, yeah, what about a half gallon an hour, 95%? If not, you know, yep. And this has another feature we start adding. This is our, I think, $69 option for uh, the dial thermometer. It comes, we got a weld on a ferrule. It comes with a cap. The cap has a half inch MPT welded to it. Then the dial thermometer. I think that's pretty good for 69 bucks. But uh, if not, you get a bung with a cook thermometer. I've sold thousands of these. They work great. There's nothing to be worried about. I mean, they actually they work really well. <laughs> So, hey, another thing we started doing about a year ago, we started making copper towers. We got a lot of different copper towers. We got like a two-on-one similar, similar to this. And um, one thing we do differently, we TIG weld all our joints, all right? And after we get done welding it, we polish these things down to, you know, nice, you know, shiny finish. Most other companies, they just wire brush them. And one thing I want to say about copper is, me, I prefer stainless. Stainless to me is more durable, easier to clean, and um, this, the, these stills, these stainless stills, they'll last you a lifetime. You'll be handing these things down to your grandkids. Copper is easier to work with, it's softer, and this is heavy duty copper tubing we use, so this, these towers will last you, you know, forever if you take care of them. But <clears throat> you got a lot of companies out there say, hey, copper is better than stainless. Bullshit. We use copper mesh. In our stainless towers, this copper mesh will give you the same effects as the copper still, but you get the durability and the same effects as the copper still. So, for me, I like stainless, but a lot of people like the looks of the copper, right? The copper does look pretty, but you touch it, even your fingers stain the copper to them, all right? Okay, keep on going. <clears throat> this is our new 53 gallon can. We've had the same can for a while, but we changed the top. Now it has an eight inch tri-clamp ferrule on top, and so if you order a can, you have to get a reducer now. This just made it a lot more rigid and more sturdy for our bigger towers. We got, we get four, four, six inch and eight inch flute towers now. And before they're a little bit, <clears throat> they didn't seem quite secure. So we, we changed this. And now if you buy a can, you'll need to buy a reducer too. It adds cost, but it made it much, I think a much nicer can. This comes with a six inch, no, that's an eight inch clean out, right? 
It's okay. a six inch clean out. This is six? Yeah. Okay. And this is a two inch fill port. Comes with the um, comes with the drain, comes with a half inch MPT. And also this can has two ports for your heating elements, right? <clears throat> Let's go over to the 26 gallon. Um, the 26 gallon, we just added these not long ago. Comes with two ports for heating elements. Comes with a drain. Comes with the drain. Comes with the half inch MPT. All right. Comes with a fill port. And you order this can, it will come with a lid. And we can sell it to you with a, a three inch, four inch, whatever you guys like, okay? Uh, these are great cans. The one thing I want to show you this time, I haven't done this before. If I fall on my face, this better go viral, okay? So, don't laugh when I fall on my face. Well, do laugh, because I want to see if I can do this without killing myself too. I want to show you how durable these things are. Whoa, 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 shit. These things are really durable. I'm 180 pounds, and this thing has no problem holding me up. <clears throat> All right, I can bounce around this thing. I haven't fallen my face yet. <laughs> but all those copper seals you see on the internet, you do this to them, they're going to crush like a pop can. I guarantee you. All right? Okay. Get off this damn thing before I get killed. Let's go back over here. <clears throat> you people like when I beat the crap out of stuff. I know that. Um, and I get a, <laughs> get a lot of compliments. It's pretty cool. Move that down a little bit. So, our parents. These things weigh three pounds. Somebody breaks into your house, you need a weapon, you grab this. Well, they'll probably kill them, so maybe not, don't use it, but you get my point. These things are just built. You're not going to damage this fucking thing. i got to watch my language. God. Okay. Our dual purpose. These things, 16 gauge, super polished, number seven tubing. Uh, excellent, excellent tubing. We All our tubing is made here in the United States. And we, we build this stuff here in the United States. We don't build, we don't buy the shit from China. So we actually get people to think that we do. We got other videos that shows a weld shop. We had three full-time welders. I still do some welding. But these things are You're not gonna hurt these things. You'll be handing these things down for you know your grandkids. I guarantee you. Okay. <clears throat> Ten years ago, this was my big seller. The old cross tubes. The tubes go straight through the column, right? Yeah, they actually work okay. But after making this jacket on the two inch, these things proven to work a lot better. I almost doubled the speed. Uh, also, it made it much easier to pack the columns. So it's much nicer for you know my customers. It costs more, it takes more time, but it works so well. We've been building these things for, God, I think 10 years at least, if not more. All right, what else do I want to show you? Okay, these are the towers you see all over the internet. These are made in China. I actually started bringing these in just because other companies selling this stuff. I'm the only company out here in the United States that still make small stainless steel towers. Uh, I guarantee that. All the other shit you see is China, made in China. Um, the quality's not there. They're okay. They'll definitely do. But um, <clears throat> I forget where I was going with that. The welds are kind of, you can tell they're like MIG welded and they grind on them. For me, I want to get the welds right the first time and keep the welds nice. Just, it's easier to build them. <laughs> they look nicer and it's easier to uh, build that way. You get do it right the first time, all right? One thing I want to say about these companies selling this stuff, man, are you guys lazy. God, you bring stuff in from the other countries and all you do is warehouses and sell it and you expect to make all this money. I brought these things in because you guys are selling for way too much money. So I thought, well, I might as well bring them in, cut the freaking price and um, <clears throat> sell to the customers out there a bit, you know, at a lower price. And um, it really pissed off these other companies. Now, they have actually sent me emails saying, hey, Mike, take those prices back up on those, on those towers. I'm like, no way. Because one thing I've learned about business is we, we're trying to keep our uh, jobs here, which I got three full-time welders. Uh, we got five people that work in the shop building stills. Then we got another five people that work, you know, packing and that kind of stuff. I got 10 employees, all right? I'm trying to keep the jobs here. Uh, I think it kind of sucks when other companies come along and they copy your shit and um, basically uh, aren't doing anything except for warehousing it. They, they buy it, they put it on their shelf, you order it, and they don't tell you it's made in China. Hey, <laughs> I am. I got a whole page of this stuff, you know. But one thing nice, we only sell one out of the one of these out of 30, the ones we built. So I'm really happy about that. Thank you very much. I mean, these are only like $20 cheaper than the ones we actually manufacture here. I want to thank you for that. Like I said, our, our tubing is made here in the United States, and so is our copper tube. 
It's not made in China. I mean, these ain't bad. They, they work. They're fine. But I said, I think I'm the only company still left that still manufacture here in the United States. All right. One other thing I kind of noticed is a lot of other companies, we only charge like 350 for this stuff, Turbo Yeast 48 hour. A lot of other companies are charging like 550 and stuff for them, even more. And this all comes from the same company from Europe, all right? And uh, <clears throat> my idea is to get the customers in and keep them. They'll realize, hey, our stuff isn't cheap just because we got lower prices. We sell the highest quality stuff possible at the lowest cost. I'm not your typical businessman that's trying to, trying to, you know, build at the cheapest price and sell at the highest price. I'm kind of opposite. I want you guys to pull my still out of your, uh, when you get my still, I want you to pull it out of the box and say, wow, that's fucking great. That's fantastic. I can't believe the quality. I want, I want the wow effect, you know. I want you to pull it out and say, wow, that's fantastic. If you don't get the wow effect, send it back to me. No, no questions asked, okay? But that usually never has happened, all right? Okay, um, did I cover everything? Just the safety valves. Safety valves, okay. Another new feature we got, thanks. Uh, another new feature we got is safety valves. A five pound valve that uh, we've had some people ask for them. So we thought, okay, hey, we'll bring them in for your extra peace of mind. People might want these. So I think it's $25, $27 we had to add because we had to weld on a uh, 1 8 MPT on it. And the safety valves ain't that cheap either, they're made of brass. But it's kind of a neat feature. But in, in 15 years of building these towers and selling them, I've never had a problem with pressure buildup. All right. Uh, there's really no place to build up pressure unless you, I don't know how you'd ever, you know, pack them so tight or plug them up. I can't imagine that ever happening. And this stuff is so durable, <laughs> it would take a lot to uh, have any problems. But we brought them in, and we're going to see how they do. All right? And let me see. Um, I went through out of the copper and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hey, thank you for your time. You guys have a good one. We'll see you soon.